Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to continue with the previous practical that is practical number 16. But this time we are going to perform group by having an order by operations with all aggregate operations. So if you have not gone through that video for detail of these clause, the link is given in the description box. So let's start. Here, first of all, a definition for a group by clause. It is like a select clause, but unlike select, it is working with group of values, means it is working with group of rows having the same value. And it is used with all aggregate operations like count, max, min, sum, and average. And for this example, we are going to use this table library having three columns where we have the information of a student, means on in the form of roll number the book issued to a roll number and the fine for particular book so here we can calculate or we can we can say that perform grouping of this the, uh, this table on the basis of roll number and also on the basis of books means how many roll numbers have got book issued from the library how many student have got book issued from the library and how many books are issued to a particular roll number so you can extract many uh, forms of reports so next we have the having clause so having we can say that having is like where clause but where was used with select operation but this time we are going to use heavy having clause and having will be used with having clause will be used with group by clause okay so where you need to uh, mention the condition like where clause but with group by operation order by or aggregate operation then you will be using having clause having cannot work with a single value having is always working with aggregated values so with every aggregate operation you need to check condition then having is the only clause okay and next for this as well we are going to use the same library table and the uh, the result that we can extract out of this table are grouping on the basis of roll number or books and the information can be means the record of student who have got issued more than two books from the library or who have certain fine with library or we can also calculate the total fine per student next we can also calculate the book issued to maximum student so all these type of parameters can be analyzed with having and group by clause and last we have the order by clause where we are simply sorting the result in ascending or descending order on the basis of one or more columns for a detailed information of order by clause you must watch the previous video of practical 16 and the default ordering is ascending that is if you are not mentioning anything then the order of sorting will be ascending but if you want a descending order sorting then you need to mention desc along with the order by clause and the column name okay you can also perform the sorting on the basis of uh, one or two columns one or more columns so let's start the practical so this is our practical window here okay this is our practical window and uh, let open let me open one more window for the input demonstration means let's change its color for differentiation just for the differentiation purpose okay this is our another video where uh, window where we are going to just display the input table that is our library table as we have already covered so 
so this is our table that we are going to use for our queries this table and you can you see this result for analysis so let's perform the count aggregation operations first to calculate the number of book issued to any student means to every uh, to total student total number of book issued from library so here is the count that count is clearly equal to the number of rows in the table because number of rows are clearly mentioning the information about the number of books issued to any student next if we want to calculate the roll number means book issued per roll number means number of books issued to a student then we need to use a group by clause for roll number group by roll number okay and here is the information that roll number 22 is having 3 books 44 is having 2 books and one book is issued to 11 and two books are issued to roll number 33 now if i want to extend this result to uh, to check the fine per student means the amount the student or uh, amount of fine the student have to pay so for that i want to calculate the sum of fine per student okay so this is not going to give you the total fine of the table means total not the total of complete column it is going to give you addition of fine for particular roll number means all the fine for roll number 22 all the fine for roll number 44 so let's see the result here is the result roll number 22 has got the total fine of 621 44 is having 280 as total fine 11 is having 230 and 33 is having a fine of 410 rupees okay so this is the information that we have extracted from the table next if i want to check uh, the maximum fine means maximum fine per book for one student means per book per student then we can select the max aggregate operation means max fine paid by one student paid by one student for one book okay so here is the information as we can see that roll number 22 is having total fine of 621 and the maximum fine for one book is 300 you can check the result from here 22 is having fine of 201 and also of 120 and the last fine is 300 so 300 120 and 201 so the maximum fine is 300 amount for one book for roll number 22 and the total amount is 621 okay similarly you can calculate the minimum fine per book using the aggregate operation min so the minimum fine is going to be if you check so the minimum fine is this so we are getting the complete information means roll number 20 having total fine of 621 and maximum fine for one book is 300 and maximum fine for one book is minimum fine is 120 so as you can see 22 is having three fine 201 and 120 for ds book and last fine is of 300 so the minimum fine as you can check is 120 and the maximum is 300 so on the basis basis of these result we can also calculate the average fine average fine paid by a student so how we can calculate that information one method is you simply write average fine paid by one student okay so here i am going to select the count of the book the total fine and the average fine paid by one student and here is the result so average fine paid by roll number 22 is 207 average fine paid by roll number 44 is 140 and so on next you can also write the complete formula instead of using this method like this so average will be sum of fine divide by count of fine so here this result this will result into the 
the same records means you are going to get the same average fine but this time you are not using uh, the built in aggregate fun method that is average this time you are calculating the average by forming a method out of uh, different aggregate operation so here i am going to uh, divide total sum of fine means total amount of fine paid by one student divided by the count of fine means number of fine for a student so here i am going to get this as the average fine as you can check this is same as the earlier query record okay earlier query result where we had used the average method but this time we are using sum of fine divided by count of fine similarly if you use instead of count uh, counting the fine if you if you are writing count of book so that would also be equal means count of fine per student is also equal to count of book per student so it is also going to generate the same result okay now let's try using the having clause okay so let's simplify this for having clause i am going to calculate or just remove this we will apply only having clause so we are going to select roll number count of book sum of fine from library group by this having now have, having will be used with as we have already discussed having will be used with aggregate operations only so i am going to write having uh having yes count of book means if one student has means how many student have got uh, more than or two or more than bo two book issued in their account so there is a information as we have total four students who have got book issued from the library but there are only three student who have got uh, two or more books got issued from the library okay so you can use having clause with aggregate operation and only with the group by clause okay so let's also refine our result for another having condition suppose i want to put the condition like where so not where we are using having clause over uh, here so uh, having this time i am putting the condition with fine means the total fine how many students are having fine greater than equal to 300 means number of student who are having pending fine of greater than or equal to 300 so out of these records we are extracting these record where the number of students are only two having the fine greater than equal to 300 you can also use other logical operators here like i want to concatenate one more condition then i will be using and where sum of fine is greater than equal to 3 and number of books suppose i want to calculate the count of the book issued to a student is greater than equal to 3 okay means now i want the result where these uh, conditions are satisfied means sum must be greater than 300 and the count count must be greater than equal to 3 so here we are going to get only one record because only this record is satisfying this condition okay so we can use having clause with conditional statements and conditional sa statement can have multiple conditional statement joined together with logical operator like and or like any etc so here if we use or instead of and okay then you are getting the same result as the earlier query means here the uh, records are not filtered on the basis of and condition means we are getting all the records where the uh, where the fine is greater than equal to 300 or the count of book is greater than equal to 3 so here we are getting this record on the basis of uh, second condition sorry on the basis of first condition where the fine is greater than equal to 300 and this record is Uh, satisfying both conditions so or will take care of the condition means if either condition is true or will select the record for the result so this that's it for this video here we have applied uh, several aggregate operations along with the having an group by clause you can also now we are left with order by clause so you can also use order by clause to filter the further results so let's 
come to this result now i want to perform the ordering on the basis of order by roll number so i want to sort the result on the basis of roll number so here is the same result that we are uh, we are we were getting from the earlier query so this is the same result the only difference is this the result records are sorted on the basis of roll number so 11 22 then 33 and 44 okay you can also perform the descending sorting like this here the roll numbers are sorted on the basis of uh, of roll number but this time in descending order okay so that's it for this video for more details for order by clause means uh, to apply order by with more than one column you must watch the previous video of practical 16 so see you in the next video till then bye and take care